Hey everyone, I want to start off by apologizing. I just was not in the mood to put makeup on. I'm very upset and as you can tell behind me, all my fragrances are gone. Um, here's a split screen. You can see that literally every shelf um, is empty. It, it's just all my perfumes are missing. The only thing that was left was um, this tiny little bottle of um, flower bomb. Sorry, just really upset. Um, what happened was I uh, went to dinner with my husband. We were celebrating his birthday as a family. And then when I came home, I came into my studio and just everything. Just, it's all gone. It's all missing. Um, I did install a security camera because obviously I have fragrances in here that were very, very valuable. And um, this is what the cameras picked up on. All right, I confess this was totally fake, totally pretend. All my fragrances are safe and sound. I have them, Whew, none of them are missing, but I was inspired to do this video by watching Maria Collette's video that she did on her channel. She did a video that if you lost all of your perfumes, what 10 perfumes would you start your collection with? And she started her video off by talking about about someone coming in with a baseball bat and they smashed all of her perfumes. And I literally sat there with my mouth open going, who would do that? Only to find out it was fake. It's a tag video that's going around YouTube with fragrance reviewers. And so since I had to take all of my perfumes off the shelf anyway to do dusting and cleaning, I figured this would make the perfect opportunity to make it look like all of my fragrances were taken. So I might have fooled a few of you with my acting, but I'm sure some of you saw right through my terrible acting job. But anyway, it was really fun to do, but really, really hard to pick 10. I have like 250 perfumes now. So narrowing it down was super hard. And I have to say, some of you are new and you're probably wondering, what is this channel all about? What is this lady doing? Hi, my name is Sasha. This is Sasha Sense. I mostly do fragrance reviews little bit of beauty and style so if you enjoy that type of content i hope you'll take a minute to subscribe hit that notification bell and be part of this fragrant family and then for those of you who are familiar with who i am and have been watching my videos for quite some time i am sure that you can guess at least one of the fragrances out of the 10 i'm going to talk about if you think you know definitely comment that down below and let me know if you lost all of your perfumes which ones would you have to have back in your collection Grab a cup of coffee, grab a glass of wine, get comfortable. Let's get right on into this video. You know me really well if you guessed I was going to talk about Valentino Donna, born in Roma. This is the Eau de Parfum by Valentino. This is a great fragrance. I really enjoy this one. I love the opening. It has this bright bergamot, which is really refreshing. It's sparkling. And it also has bursts of this vivid freshness that I really, really like. The heart itself is beautiful. If you like jasmine, there's three different types of jasmine in here. And you know jasmine is the icon of femininity. So it just adds to this fragrance. And then in the base, you get this beautiful vanilla bourbon, which is the most expensive quality of vanilla. And it gives this fragrance a rich, leathery, smoky aspect, which is literally my favorite part of this fragrance. I just love the way this smells. It smells seductive, sultry, smoky, feminine, mysterious. I just love this one. Can you tell? 
It has great performance on me, about six to eight hours on the skin, has a gorgeous trail. Now I recommend this one probably more for the fall and winter time, but I know a lot of people that wear this year round. It just depends on you, but all around great fragrance. If you haven't had a chance to try this one, what are you waiting for? This is great. This is Donna Born in Roma Eau de Parfum by Valentino. All right, this is Chanel Chanso Tendre Eau de Parfum by Chanel. My sister-in-law, Anna, wears this and I love the way this smells on her. So I was compelled to purchase it myself. And you can see I've gotten some great use out of this. I love the opening. It's bright, it's happy. You get this quince and grapefruit, which like I said, is really bright, fresh. So if you like fragrances that smell clean and fresh and have a little bit of a zestiness to it, you'll really like this one. Now in the heart, you get some florals. There's some soft rose and a jasmine. So there's some slight sweetness in here. And then you get in the base, this white musk. So you get this clean, warm skin effect. And this reminds me a lot of like cotton, like clean cotton sheets or that crisp cotton white shirt. It's really, really nice. I get great performance on this one, about six to eight hours on my skin. And then on the clothes, this really, really clings. So if you like a fragrance that you can smell days later on your clothes, you will love this one. Great for the spring and summertime. This is my favorite Chanel, by the way. I think it's outstanding. Again, this one is Chanso Tendre Eau de Parfum by Chanel. All right, this is an absolute stunner. This is Plum and Cognac by Sense of Wood. I love the whole process on how they make this fragrance. They take their organic alcohol and they age it in these old wood barrels. And this one was aged in a cognac barrel. So it that alcohol takes the booziness of that cognac and then they mix it with the other notes and they mix it with like caramel, tobacco. And you guys know, I love tobacco note. And it's really apparent in here. Ah, oh, there's also some cinnamon nutmeg so you get this slight spiciness which is really really nice that mixes with that tobacco it's heavenly and then there's this purple plum which is really juicy and ripe mixed with vanilla and vetiver all around exquisite fragrance this is a great unisex fragrance it's right down the middle men women can wear this easily this reminds me a lot of when i went to the plaza in new york my dad used to be the managing director and I would go to the oak bar and I would sit there and you could smell like the pipe tobacco or the cigars and people would have their cocktails or music playing. It just smells very luxurious and you're just in this great atmosphere, cozy. That's what this reminds me of. I absolutely love it. It lasts about six hours on my skin, a long time on the clothes recommend this one probably more for the fall and winter because it is a little bit heavier you've got a lot of that tobacco smokiness in here but a beautiful fragrance definitely check them out again this one is plum and cognac by sense of wood all right this is delina of the parfum by parfums de marley this was my very first niche fragrance absolutely love this fragrance it is such a happy feminine fragrance that's bright love the opening it reminds me a little bit of a sparkling sweet wine there's rhubarb lychee and some bergamot so again it's very bright very sparkling and then in the heart you get this turkish rose which reminds me a lot of that turkish delight that dessert there's peonies which is my favorite floral as well as vanilla and then in the base you get cashmere musk and vetiver so you get this creamy base a little bit woody that vetiver really adds to this fragrance, really stands out. I love the performance on this one. I get about six to eight hours on my skin. And then it has this gorgeous sillage. This trail is very feminine, very bright, sexy, flirty, fun. I recommend this one more for spring and summer. So an all around really nice fragrance. And again, that one was Delina by Parfums de Marley. All right, this is Replica by The Fireplace, Eau de Toilette by Mason Margiela. This is a really nice fragrance, especially if you love fragrances that are smoky, woody. This reminds me so much of when I was younger, sitting by the campfire, roasting marshmallows, and then you get home and you smell your hair and you have that smoke smell. I just loved that as a kid. But this has like a warm heart of chestnut it's got some woodiness. There's also some red berries, which I don't really pick up on. Some sweet vanilla, 
some florals of orange blossom and neroli. I get about six to eight hours on this, which is great for an eau de toilette. It lasts a lot longer on your clothes. The sillage is beautiful. Now I do recommend this one more for the fall and winter time. I ended up getting this the later part of winter, so I didn't get to wear it as much as I wanted to, but this fall and winter, I'm gonna be reaching for this quite often. I think it's an absolutely stunning fragrance. And again, that was Replica by The Fireplace by Mason Margiela. I've had this one for about two weeks and I've worn it almost every single day. This is the Venchi collection. It's called Signature Eau de Parfum by Hervé Laurent. Now this bottle typically is completely full to the top, but I put a little bit of a dent in there. Love this. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I think it's absolutely fantastic. This is high-end luxury at its finest. The opening of this one, if you like jasmine, you're getting a gorgeous jasmine mixed with this warm ginger accord. That's just breathtaking. It mixes with some other notes. You're getting this coriander, some cardamom. And then there's some lilies as well as some bergamot some green leaves, oud, tonka bean, tobacco, which I absolutely love. That's my favorite part of this fragrance. And that's why I'm so addicted to this. And there's also some cedar wood and vanilla. So a very nice fragrance. I get about six to eight hours of wear on my skin. It has this beautiful trail that I find absolutely stunning. This is a unisex fragrance. So men and women can wear this easily. It's right down the middle. I recommend this one for, I would say fall, winter, and spring. It might be a little too much in the summertime. It all depends. Now, even though it's super hot where I'm at right now, I've been wearing it and still get great enjoyment out of it. So it's completely up to you. But this is a great fragrance. Again, this is from the Venchi collection. It's called Signature Eau de Parfum by Hervé Laurent. All right, it isn't a fragrance collection without hypnotic poison. Love this. This is the Eau de Toilette by Christian Dior. I love the opening. I love almond in here. It's got that nuttiness that's mixed with a slight sweetness, but that almond itself has a little bit of a bitterness to it. And it kind of reminds me of that almond pastry with that sprinkled powdered sugar on there. It's warm. You bite into it and it melts in your mouth. It's actually making me really hungry, but that's what it reminds me of. It also has some floral notes in here. You're getting this jasmine that's soft, slightly sweet, and it blends with this vanilla. And the vanilla gives it sweetness and also a little bit of a spiciness to it. So if you enjoy fragrances that are slightly nutty, sweet, with a hint of spiciness, you will absolutely love this. I get about six to eight hours of wear and the sillage for this one is absolutely stunning. Now I recommend this one primarily for the fall, winter, and early spring. Again, some people may prefer to wear this year round. You can wear this in a cooler evening for a date night. It definitely is gonna make this lasting impression. It's almost forbidden. I just love this one. And again, this one was Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette by Christian Dior. All right, if you love chocolate, you're gonna love this fragrance and I absolutely adore chocolate. It's delicious in this one. This is Prada Candy Night Eau de Parfum by Prada. Ah, oh, delicious. This opens with a really nice neroli and an iris. There's a little bit of a bitter orange, some tonka bean. You're gonna get the typical vanilla, the patchouli, and then the chocolate. And this is not a creamy milk chocolate. This is more of your semi-sweet powdery kind of dry chocolate, which is a little bit bitter and I love it. It mixes beautifully with the other notes. I think it's very seductive. It's very feminine. It's a little bit mysterious. It's classy and it smells expensive. So an all around really nice fragrance on me. This is about six hours. It lasts a super long time on my clothes. Love the trail on this one. I recommend this one more for like date nights or cooler evenings, maybe the fall, winter. Again, if you wanna wear this year round, that's totally up to you, but a great fragrance to try. And again, that was Prada Candy Night Eau de Parfum by Prada. All right, this is La Nuit Tresor Eau de Parfum by Lancome. This is a great fragrance. It's very, very strong. A little goes a very long way. I think this fragrance is very prominent and stands out. 
If you like raspberry, you'll love it in here. It's very jammy. It mixes with this beautiful rose, a lychee accord, which is known to be more of like that tart kind of sweet. And then you'll get into a incense, which has a little bit of smokiness to it. There's vanilla orchid, praline, as well as papyrus. So an all around super nice fragrance that I find to be very feminine, has a dark side, a little mysterious. This is great if you want to wear it for date nights, special events. Now I get about six to eight hours on my skin. This leaves an amazing trail. This is one of those fragrances when you walk by someone, they, you know, they'll turn their heads or if you've been somewhere and then you leave, people can tell you've been there because they can still smell you. It's great. I love it. Now, as far as when to wear this one, I, like I said, special occasions, maybe the fall and winter is best or earlier part of spring, but an overall really nice fragrance. If you've not had a chance to try this one, again, this is La Nuit Tresor or the Parfum by Lancome. All right, I had to add an oud to this collection because I am getting into the ouds and this one is Oud Afghano. This is my favorite one. This is the Eau de Parfum by Halas of Maison d'Orient. This is a unisex fragrance. This is very soft, very sensual. I really enjoy this Oud because it's not overbearing. Some Ouds can be so strong that it might set you aback. You might be taken aback by it. This one, if you're new to Oud, you'll really appreciate this one because it mixes so beautifully with the other notes. It feels very comforting and very soft. Now this has labdanum, the Indian agarwood, some tonka bean, and rich white amber. So all around very nice combination. I like to wear this one before I go to bed. I feel like I'm being wrapped in this blanket of comfort and luxury. It's just very, very nice. This has great performance, about six to eight hours on the skin, beautiful sillage. This again will get compliments. It's stunning. If you want to try an oud for the first time, I recommend this one. This one probably more for fall, winter, but it's beautiful. Again, this one is Oud Afghano by Halas of Maison d'Orient. There you have the 10 fragrances. If I had to start all over again, that I would add to my collection. I hope you found this video enjoyable. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. I really appreciate that you took time out of your day to watch this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember one spray can literally change your day. Have a good one and I'll see you again real soon.